I won't waste my breath by asking where everybody is. You know, it's a sad comment on our society, Mrs. What Sharples. I mean, we haven't progressed all that far, have we? If they were throwing Christians to the lions in Albert Square, I bet you couldn't get near for the crowd. Well, they say there's a streak of violence in all of us. Happen they're better getting rid of it over there than fighting on street corners. <laughs> for once, I'm inclined to agree with you. Now, what can I get you? Oh, the usual. And I might as well have it in here. There's no sense in sitting in the snug of my own. I absolutely agree. Why not have a drink with me now? I rather fancy a little something myself. Well, I was never one to look a gift horse in the mouth. Um, what about a glass of cherry brandy? Yeah, all right. Here we are. Hey, the last time I had one of them was at a foot in at Bradshaw's Dye Works. I wasn't married then. I was knocking about with Sid Appleby. He was a finisher. <laughs> oh, yes, Mrs. Sharples. That's all in the past now, though. You're only at own here tonight, then, are you? Yes, it's uh, Irma's night off. And uh, Mr. Walker has... Uh, Gone to the wrestling. Yes, as a matter of fact, he has. Cheers. Cheers. It'll do him no harm. What's that, Mrs. Sharples? Mr. Walker. It'll do him good to let off a bit of steam. Oh, no. <laughs> Not my Jack. If I know my Jack, they won't get a murmur out of him. You know, this isn't bad. What did you say it was? It's, um, this one's Benedictine. You know, I always fancy a little drop after my lunch on Sunday. Mm. Very nice. Mind you, I don't bother with lunch on Sunday. Doesn't run to two cooked meals on a pension. Oh, of course not. How thoughtless of me. Now you must come and have lunch with us one Sunday. Jack and I would be delighted. And just a little glass more, Mrs. Sharples. Ina. Pay pardon? Ina. Oh. <laughs> Do you reckon you'll finish your days in this street, Annie? Well, you know, that's hard to say. Ina. <laughs> I must confess I've longed for something better. We did have a very, very nice hotel offered to us, but Jack wasn't keen. I suppose a wife's place is behind her husband. That's right. Mind you, it doesn't pay to let them know. It most certainly does not. You, you know, on reflection, I, I thought you were very unlucky in that talent competition, Annie. I am blessed with a very good ear. And in my opinion, you were miles ahead of everybody else. Oh, that's very kind of you, Ina. You have a beautiful voice. It's no better than yours. I've heard your rock of ages echoing across the street on a Sunday morning. I do my best. With someone like you, a pal good and true, I'd love.